Hi, and welcome to the video course, Configuring Windows Server 2008 Active Directory. My name is Patrick Lohner, and I'll be your instructor on this course. We'll start with a little bit about me, and then we'll go through uh, an outline, uh, just in general, as to what we're going to be covering in this video course. And I've been in IT for uh, almost 15 years, uh, been working as a Microsoft ter Certified Trainer for uh, all of those years, really. I uh, got started with Windows NT and uh, got certified there and immediately moved into a training environment. Uh, originally, I started with just some low-end classes, but I very quickly got ramped up on Windows 2000 and began to teach uh, Active Directory and Exchange and Network Infrastructure uh, services and, and all of those uh, kinds of, of courses. For the, la the last seven years, I've been working uh, outside of uh, a traditional training center environment as an independent consultant and freelance trainer. I've gotten to touch a lot of different uh, environments in that time. I've worked uh, a ton with Exchange and Active Directory, uh, helping organizations do upgrades uh, to Exchange, deployments of Windows Server 2008 and now Windows Server 2012 uh, Active Directory. I uh, worked a lot with virtualization with Hyper-V as well. Uh, so, you know, I kind of had my hands in a lot of different areas uh, on the Windows side of things. Uh, and certainly have uh, still maintained the uh, MCSE, MCSA uh, certifications through to the, to the latest version. So now the purpose of this course is to, uh, to help you uh, for the 70-640 certification exam. Of course, I don't want to just help you pass the exam. I want to also give you information that will be useful in real life environments. Uh, so sometimes as we go through, we'll you know, point things out that potentially will be on the exam. Of course, they can't know exactly what is going to, uh, to be there. But that's the goal. That's the intent. And, and in so doing, we're going to try to cover uh, a number of different chapters that hit on the major objectives of the certification exam. Uh, we're going to start with just an overview of Active Directory and, and how it is an identity and access solution that is provided by Microsoft. It's a directory service that serves as a repository for just about everything uh, on your network. It's a critical service. We'll give an overview of the different structures, logical and physical. We'll talk about DNS integration and how DNS is critical for Active Directory uh, functionality. We'll look at the major management of user, groups, computers, your day-to-day -day stuff, and I'll try to help you to get a little bit more efficient with that. Uh, using the Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell, uh, we can automate uh, a lot of our uh, administration. We're going to look at the physical structure, the replication using sites and site links. We'll talk, uh, spend a, a, a few chapters, a couple chapters dealing with group policy, which really represents your ability to push out changes in mass uh, across users and computers, control desktop environments, security, deploy software, you name it. Uh, you could pretty much do it in, uh, in group policy. And we're going to start then kind of transitioning there. In Server 2008, there are a few supplemental roles in Active Directory. You know, we always think Active Directory and we're thinking domains and forest and, and, and that's ADDS. Well, there are some other roles, AD certificate services, lightweight directory services, federated services, and rights management services. None of these are required. They're all uh, optional, but provide some particular functionality. So certificate services let you set up a public key infrastructure and use certificates for authentication and encryption. Uh, lightweight directory services could be used as a data storage location for applications. Federated services helps you extend single sign-on uh, primarily for web-based applications. And then RMS is some enhanced content uh, protection. So we'll look at all of those uh, look at where and how they're used and how to install and, and configure them. So, uh, again, it's my hope here that this will give you a lot of real-world knowledge and help you uh, in your current or future positions and also help move you along towards passing that exam. Let's get started. 